This show is not intended to provide the listener with specific medical advice, and you should seek the advice of a medical professional. This program is brought to you by Zenus, leading the optimum wellness movement in body and spirit with nature. My whole purpose is to get people off of their drugs and get them to live a healthy life. It's, it's such a miracle. I mean, this is dollar for dollar. Best stuff I've ever had in my office. Hey, folks, welcome to the Zenith Health Show on KXNT News Talk Radio 840 Las Vegas. My name is Anthony. I'm joined here, of course, with Doug Woodenfield. He is the CEO and president of Zenith Global Health. He's also an educator, author of that wonderful book, Life for Grave Danger. You can find that on Amazon. You can find it also on our website. Consultation is always free. We're back by Nature's Pharmacy here on yet another Sunday live with you. How are you this morning, my friend? It's always great to be with you. It's great to be here with you, too, Anthony. Another beautiful Sunday, of course. Well, yeah, you and I were uh, driving uh, across the across the crevasse. Crossing the desert. <laughs> right, on a horse with no name, right? Well, anyways, here we were. We're talking about friendly flora. You and I were talking about, you know, the digestive system is such a complex creature. Well, understand one thing, of course, and, and one of the things you brought up, and it's true, that they often refer to the gut as the second brain. Right. Uh, because you do. It emanates feelings. You get that sinking feeling in your gut, or you just got that gut feeling. And so, of course, one of the most uh, common phrases in the natural health arena is life and death begin in the colon, in the gut. And that's because that's where the majority of the diseases emanate from, because that's where so much of uh, accumulated waste exists. Again, that's why we, we talk about optimum detox, because, you know, without cleaning out that system, the good stuff simply can't get through. We can't restore the body systems until we eliminate those toxins and poisons. Correct. And this is why it's so important that we have a healthy flora system. In other words, the flora in the gut is made up from bacteria or microorganisms, and the friendly flora are aerobic in nature. It's the unfriendly or the anaerobic bacteria that uh, attract all of these uh, infectious pathogens and bacteria and germs and viruses You know, into the system. We accumulate so much waste. If we're not eliminating it properly, it rots, it decays, it putrefies, and becomes the source for most all of our degenerative and chronic conditions. Folks, you have one body that empowers a lifetime, and if you do not remove the waste, you can't get the full life experience and quality of life that we all deserve. We all know we deserve this. How little information medical doctors give us about the importance of detoxification, about eliminating poisons and toxins. Why is that, Doug? I talk to people, ask them, does your doctor ever bring up detoxification with you? It's not, not one. It's not in alignment with their values and, and what they've been taught because they're really in alignment with the money interests, with the, the drug companies. And that's what they've been taught because the colleges and medical centers that they went to are funded by these companies, and so the money interests get to develop the curriculum that they're taught. But the truth of the matter is, all of this bacteria in the gut, this floor in the gut, plays a significant role, but it's not in harmony necessary with what we refer to as allopathic or conventional medicine, because uh, I'd like to be aligned more with Louis Pasteur, and Louis <laughs> Pasteur, of course, with the germ theory, that right. it was germs and pathogens, viruses, bacteria that cause disease. And that's what we were taught in school. Truthfully, what it's been my experience in researching, that that's just been a big lie. It's just nonsense. It's misinformation that's been disseminated, but it was in alignment with the needs of the drug companies because all you needed to do then, they just needed to develop uh, antibiotics in that, and they had a license to print money. But there was an equally astute biologist, a French biologist by the name of Antoine Bouchamps, had a totally conflicting theory. And it had to do with what we refer to as pleomorphism. And his statement and his belief was is that at no time have uh, bacteria, germs, or pathogens ever been the primary cause of any disease. They're secondary at best. They're living organisms constantly in quest of a host that can provide them with a food source. So it's the people that have accumulated waste that attract all of these infectious bacteria, pathogens, and that. Now, on one hand, it can be a defense mechanism because they're devouring the pathogens that cause disease. However, understand, because they're living entities, they also live and breathe and defecate in the system. And oftentimes their defecation is more insidious, toxic, than the accumulated waste that, that they're devouring. 
Folks, we have a very special guest who will be joining us later in the show. Her name is Dr. Sveta Silverman. You're going to want to hear that. If you want to get involved with this conversation, let us know what your doctors think about detox. I'd be very curious to hear. Call us on the host resistance hotline at 702-733-5968. Would love to have you as part of the conversation today. If uh, you believe that wellness is for warriors, we want to hear from you because let's face it, Doug, as we often say, the easiest thing that you can do, the simplest thing, the mindless thing you can do is simply take a pill and convince yourself that this little thing will solve all my problems. Yeah, well, it just doesn't We need a plan. We need to detox and we need to restore now because why? Our environment is seriously polluted. We're going to hammer this with you week after week after week. Can't stress enough without removing these things. Your body simply can't get enough of the things that it needs. Well, it gets too much of the things it doesn't need yeah. and not enough of the things you do need. And, and it, consequently, it creates what we call an imbalance. And that's all disease is, is an imbalance in the system. Once you restore balance, you eliminate the dis-ease. But there's no question. We talked last week. We're in a constant battle. It's a war against pollutants. Because if you look at it, the food that we grow is polluted with chemical fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, fungi. Fungicides, algicides, uh, Anthony Lord knows what other sides. <laughs> then the air that we're breathing. Just look, and look up in the sky. You'll see all the chemtrails up there. And looking over the city when you're driving through in Las Vegas, it's a beautiful city, but you can see smog and dust even in this city that's not even high in manufacturing. You get into other cities like L.A. and that, and if you've been over to some of the Asian countries, it's unbelievable. Right. You can't even, it's like a big fog, you know, over the, these cities. Water that we're drinking, we're using fluorides, we're using uh, uh, chlorine and all of these insidious toxins, you know, that are known to cause cancer. Uh, they're putting it into our water. And the other thing is that the, the Review Journal right here in Las Vegas had an article printed here a few years ago, and it was telling us that we were getting an abundance of chemicals and, and statin drugs in particular right out of our drinking tap, out of our water supply here because people were pouring their expired medications down the toilet. It was finding its way through the groundwater back up into our water source. So we were getting high levels of things like uh, Lipitor and Zocor and that in our water when we were drinking. It. Mm-hmm. There's just no end. So we're constantly being bombarded. We live in a polluted world. And so we have to turn around and use some defense. The body's got defense mechanisms, but they need assistance. Look, folks, wellness takes strategy, it takes planning, it takes a bit of study with the right information. That's one of the reasons why we're here today, and it really awaits your personal discovery. Look, the courageous people out there, in my opinion, these are the folks who self-examine, who question things, who have scrutiny about what's yeah. happening in their health care system. We simply have to become better wellness conscious consumers if we're not going to do that and take ownership that's the lesson we hope you learn from these shows if you don't do that you're leaving your health your wellness to chance well yeah as i tell people at my lectures you don't have to believe a thing i say Mm -hmm. matter of fact it's incumbent on you to listen with an open mind see if it makes sense if it's logical but do your due diligence to find out because at the end of the day a doctor is simply a teacher and you can only make proper decisions based on having good information. And unfortunately, even in the health, natural health arena, which is even worse than conventional in some cases, there's a huge amount of misinformation being disseminated that on the surface seems to make sense. But when you get right in and do your due diligence, you'll find that a lot of it is just absolutely nonsense and misinformation. I'd be curious, Doug, do you find when you speak to people, because I speak to a lot of people too when I'm out there and Simple questions about doctors recommended detox. Have they ever considered one? Do you think you're getting the right information? And I get the sense that a lot of people, they have a distrust, I think, in general about institutions. But when it comes to their health, there's almost like a suspension of disbelief. Because the white coat is there and, the you know, you got the fancy letters at the end of the name that maybe they, they're the expert. They know everything. And quite frankly, you know, there's some great doctors out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not assaulting the medical profession. What I'm questioning is whether or not people are asking the right questions and if they're informed. Well, one of the things is the name detox often conjures up an image of a halfway house where people are, you know, <laughs> where people are, are, are drug addicts or alcoholics or, 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 you know, some of these other illnesses where they're trying to get them out of their system, which is a detoxifying process as well. 
what it means is that we've got to have bad habits of eating the wrong food, food that's been denatured, that's, you know, starches, bleach sugars, uh, you know, all these foods that are denatured or synthetic that the body doesn't recognize targets for elimination. Folks, you are listening to the Zenith Health Show here on News Talk Radio KXNT 840. Don't forget, a healthy body is a guest chamber for the soul. A sick body is its prison. When we come back right after this break, Dr. Svetis Filmer will be joining us from Canada, an esteemed guest, a pathologist. You're going to want to hear a lot of what she has to say about what she's discovered about chronic disease and more. This show is brought to you by the fine people at Zenith Global Health. Check their website out at zenithglobalhealth.com slash information. The consultation is always free. We're backed by Nature's Pharmacy. Come right back. Our special guest on deck. What if I could show you a way to increase your energy and your vitality, lower your blood pressure, and enhance your libido? No doctors, no drugs. Every day, I'm confronted by people that are just too anxious to tell me that they've got no energy, that they've got no drive. How be if we could change all that? That's right. Make that call and make it now. Call Zenas at 702-540-5668. Unleash the power today. Rush. This is what I have dreamed of. Hearing all his dreams come true. I'm just enjoying the left acting like a bunch of stuck pigs. Weekdays, 9 to noon. I just love it. I love them going batty. On News Talk 840 AM, KXNT. Hey, folks, welcome back. You're listening to the Zenith Health Show on KXNT News Talk Radio 840. My name is Anthony, joined here with Doug Whittefield, CEO and president of Zenith Global Health. And joining us all the way from Canada is a uh, great friend of Zenith. Her name is Dr. Sveta Silverman, who was formerly a pediatric surgeon in the former Soviet Union. That's making Canada her home. She's moved to the field of pathology, and uh, she likes to get underneath root causes of medical problems and more. I had a wonderful conversation with her the other day. Really looking Looking forward to having her. Dr. Silverman, how are you on this fine, fine Sunday morning in Canada? I'm so awesome. How are you guys? I'm so excited. I'm so happy to have you. You and I had a lovely conversation the other day, and we were talking about, uh, you know, some of the things that you're up to, about chronic disease, the things that you see. Um, Can you talk to people a little bit about your background in pathology and why you were so drawn to it? Well, uh, being an ex-pediatric surgeon after upon immigration to Canada, I lost all my credentials, and I went back to medical school, and I absolutely cognitively chose to practice the field of pathology. It's the medicine of cells, and it's a medicine of diagnosis. I am the doctor of a diagnosis. I tell clinicians how to tackle the diseases, um, uh, and I subspecialize in breast pathology, diagnosing breast cancers on a daily basis. Mm. Uh, My journey with health started with my mother passing away from a deadly uh, lymphoma. Um, It's a blood cell cancer. That's when I started to explore Food Avenue, the mildness, uh, basically the health. Right, and you've also got a very um, keen interest, I think, in nutrition as well, and you know, just uh, just great living. And the rates of chronic disease, as you know better than I do, continue to creep up to alarming rates. We spend more on health care. Uh, I know Canada's got a very lovely system, a lot more different here than the United States, certainly. But the alarming fact is, chronic disease rates are rising right along with health care costs. What are we missing? You know, Anthony, you're absolutely right. The rate of chronic disease is skyrocketing. And unfortunately, as conventional physicians, we only patch the holes. We don't get to the root cause. I believe that the root cause of the chronicity is in our environment, our environmental damage or what is called, um, and that environmental or epigenetic uh, nature of diseases uh, leads to cellular stress or cellular toxicity. And cellular toxicity is the root cause of chronic diseases. Good morning, Sveta. How are you? 
I'm awesome, Doc. How are you? Good, good. I'm probably a little warmer than you are. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm minus 21 Celsius. Yeah, well, I've been away from Canada long enough, I can't convert that, but it sounds pretty cold to me. I know what we meant. Zero. We met a couple of weeks ago in the beautiful environment. We had the opportunity to uh, to visit in Palm Springs. And yes. uh, what a wonderful uh, opportunity to really get to, to talk to you and meet with you. And it, some of the yeah. things is is we have some commonalities as uh, some of your colleagues up there, doctors and that, have been associated with us for quite a period of time because uh, you're working out of the U of A, University of Alberta there, right? Well, I teach at the University of Alberta, but my main location is at the Misericordia Hospital, which is a breast cancer center. So that's where I'm most of my time. I'm also affiliated with some other medical facilities. Yeah. Well, you know, some of the things that that really caught my attention and intrigued me, things that you said, uh, number one is your vision of the future, the things that you aspire to do, because it's always been our belief that we can get everything in life we want by helping others get what they want. And your vision to me was so clear and you were so concise with it. You want to uh, get a wellness center that unifies the best of allopathic medicine with the best of uh, the natural health arena. As a matter of fact, you're aspiring to even become a, a naturopathic physician as well, correct? That is correct. Well, I'm not sure that I would like to have another D behind my name, but basically <laughs> I certainly would like some sort of a natural medicine credential in order for me to be the facilitator, the proper facilitator of that dream Oasis of Life Center, Oasis of Health Center. I totally aligned with you, and those are some of the areas that I think that we can really work together on because, of course, being a, a dual citizen, I, my my children all live up there in, in Alberta. I was born in Calgary, just south of you there. So I, I have a real uh, affection for Canada as well as the U.S., of course, but that's something that we could uh, uh, support you on and maybe duplicate it even down in the United States, you know, where, where we could actually unite and bring all the different doctors uh, practicing different modalities together so that we could get the best of the best and actually start uh, addressing some of these challenges in a better way. Unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you for that support. Yes. Dr. Silverman, um, go back to your beginnings where you come from the former Soviet Union. Of course, you're a pediatric surgeon, but one of the things we've come to learn over time is this word adaptogen. You know, Doug and I have spent an awful lot of time talking about adaptogens, specifically because of Optimum Detox. Why are adaptogens so readily accepted in the former Soviet Union, Korea, China? But when we get to the EU and North America, the medical profession tends to want to push them to the side. Oh, this is the million dollars question, Anthony. So the thing is, growing in the Soviet Union, we are so adapted there to all traditional methods, all the uh, methods of peasant medicine, mm. or basically some sort of, you can call it quackery. It is a, a transferred from generation to generation. My mother, who uh, was a a pediatrician and then a rehabilitation physician always taught and preached natural medicine and indeed adaptogens, which is so near and dear to my heart growing in Urals in that harsh winter environment. And it's a very similar for, say, the Yucca product that we sponsor, which is Optimum Detox. Again, another harsh environment that produces a product that has great adaptogen properties that not only cleanse the system, but also restore. That's This is the issue around adaptogens, is that it relieves stress inside the body. Well, that's right. You know, that's interesting that, yes, indeed, guys, and I, at the moment, I'm trying you Yucca Detoxicants. However, obviously, I do have my health and wellness business that is entirely built on the concept of reducing cellular stress. Mm. And some of our products indeed carry uh, adaptogens as the uh, one of the ingredients of those supplementation. It's amazing that we're in the same line. 
Right. I also want to get into this other question Doug and I were, were talking about in the first segment, and it's the concept of detox. And you and I both would agree that detox is fundamental to our health longer term. We're the system of the, all these environmental poisons and toxins, whether it's our food, the air, the water we drink, whatever it is. Yet, you know, when you talk to people about, are you having this conversation with your doctor about detox? Nine out of ten, if not nine and a half out of ten, say that conversation never happens. Why is that you know i call it we're very quote to quote a very optimistic we live very polluted lifestyle hoping that everything is going to be absolutely fine let me ask you a question do you take your car for a tuna absolutely regularly absolutely. so what is the tuna for your car the tuna for your car is detoxification or cleaning the pipes the engine and whatever needs to be done in your car well, we are quote to quote alive uh, cars However, we hope that we don't need to cleanse or clean our pipes or clean ourselves for proper and healthy living, and that is not the case, because that is exactly what is going to lead to chronic inflammation and aging. Folks, you're listening to Dr. Sveta Silverman here on the Zenith Health Show. We're going to take a quick break here. When we come back, if you want to talk to the doctor, you got a question, call us on the host resistance hotline at 702-733-5968. More with Dr. Silverman, more with Doug Winterfield. Come right back. This is News Talk Radio 840 KXNT. This is Optimum Detox. It's unlike any detox formula you used and you'll feel the effects instantly our bodies are constantly picking up unhealthy toxins that slow us down make us feel tired and can cause disease but just as we take in toxins on a daily basis we need to help our bodies eliminate them daily too optimum detox is the only whole food detox formula that gives your body exactly what it needs to become a supercharged toxin fighting machine it's so concentrated just a few drops taken with water or your favorite drink starts eliminating toxins right away the secret is in the powerful all-natural mojave yucca proven to give your body what it's lacking to fight and eliminate toxins i take optimum detox every day and i feel like i'm 20 again detoxing every day is vital to health i've never felt better take the optimum detox challenge and feel the difference instantly you won't believe how great you'll feel and we'll guarantee it all now not next week not next month 702-540-5668 eliminate deadly toxins today always right just the way you like it let's go now it's Alan Stock, 3 to 6 p.m. on News Talk 840 AM, KXNT. Hey, folks, welcome back. You're listening to the ZSL Show here on KXNT News Talk Radio 840 Las Vegas. My name is Anthony, joined here with Dr. Sveta Silverman, who is uh, joining us all the way up there from Canada, Alberta, Canada, where it is awfully cold. And, of course, I'm here with Doug Whitfield. If you want to take part in the show, 702-733-5968. Get on the host resistance hotline if you have questions for the doctor, if you have questions for Doug. Dr. Silverman, it has been an absolute pleasure thus far to speak with you um, regarding the level of... Of, of pathology that you do and the exploration into chronic disease. If you were to help us with that person who's actually digging into the, at a cellular level and looking at what are the precursors to premature aging and chronic disease, what are the things you would have a patient look at first in their lifestyle to correct? Well, you know, thank you, Anthony. Thank you. First of all, it's such a pleasure being on this interview. But you know what you said? We need to look into the lifestyle. And when I talk about lifestyle, I usually talk about five pillars of health. It all starts with our mind. It all starts with our happiness level, with our content, with our kindness. And then it leads to nutrient-dense food. We're responsible for what we put in our mouth, what we put in our system. You know, nutrient-dense food, the, the proper blocks for cellular nutrition. Then we need to talk about healthy water. Uh, then we, we jump into exercise, and with exercise, again, there will be that detoxification with maybe healthy infrared saunas or hot yoga or some sort of a sweating. And then we talk about proper supplementation, and I take supplementation very seriously. I call it essential supplementation, meaning that something that I believe my cells absolutely need for this proper uh, compiled machinery. 
Yeah, there's no question uh, that you set a wonderful example, Sveta, because you walk the walk and talk the talk. It's both. After our last conversation, you uh, you texted me a picture of the big gigantuous salad that you had made for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, Doug. We have to. We have to pave the way. Otherwise, it's all hypocritical. No, there's no question about it. I believe, and, and I think that you'll agree, that disease is simply a body out of balance. And to restore balance, we have to first off get rid of the toxins, the poisons, the accumulated waste that bring down the body. But we also have to replace uh, our whole lifestyle with proper proper nutrition because at the end of the day the cells require proper nutrients in order to create the enzymes that can go ahead and do the healing effect that's been already damaged absolutely 100 percent agree we need to clean the cells and then we need to nourish the cells Correct. absolutely in order in order for the genome for our genes to to function like a well-oiled machine with this enzymes correct that, that perform all the functions all the functions Well, every cell in every living organism is simply an enzyme factory. Enzymes are our life force. That's the electrical chemical life force in our body, and they're responsible for every action of living. Everything that we do, our walking, talking, breathing, is all a result of enzymes. And enzymes are created by the cells, but in order to create the proper enzymes and healthy enzymes, it requires giving the body the proper nutrients in order for it to go ahead and build those enzymes. Absolutely, absolutely. Doctor, I want to ask you to put your pathologist glasses on again. And one of the things that I've detected in the in the wellness realm when we talk about, you know, cellular developments, right? It's this concept of drug-induced nutrient depletion, right? And how little doctors really know about nutrition and the impact of those drugs on processing the key ingredients or the key variables that we get from our diet to improve our health. Because you see this firsthand at a cellular level when you do your research. Is there a link between drugs and how nutrients are processed in the body? And are they leading to these rates of chronic disease? Of course, absolutely. The interesting thing is some of our what is called anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs also lead to cellular stress also lead to the oxidative stress, which definitely is going to lead to decrease of those antioxidant enzymes. That's number one. Number two, we need to understand that pharmaceutical drugs, they affect one pathway as opposed to natural nutrient-dense food or proper supplementations that upregulate the multitude of healthy pathways. Then number three is every drug has two effects. One is the effect that is uh, leaning towards, to, you know, minimizing that condition, that syndrome or symptom. But the second effect is always a side effect. So, for example, some of the, let's say, newly uh, uh, FDA, not newly, couple couple years approved FDA uh, drug for the uh, re- remitted, relentless, relapsing multiple sclerosis, you know, it may uh, improve the movement, but in 12 to 16 weeks, it proved to decrease your immune system by 30 to 40 percent. We are striving to upregulate, to modify our immune system. This decreases the immune system. That is why, you know, my main take is, obviously, I do not denote the drugs, but in any which way possible, we need to optimize the body by cleansing the body and by, you know, upregulating the body with proper nutrition, with the proper supplementation, with proper hydration. So if we're a society that's like over-medicated to begin with, right? We take drugs for everything. I mean, it's we're just treating symptoms for drugs. We're not treating root cause. Given the fact that we have a population that's aging and has been raised largely in this kind of system, we call it the disease care system, right? Well, look, are we shaping ourselves up for, uh, how do I say, a critical mass down the road here where we've got a detoxification crisis out there? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I think we're already we there. The we, we are the society of fields. Yeah. We are the society of fields because it's easier not to take charge of your life. We're constantly in search of a quick fix. One of the things that I advocate is that every prescription drug, without exception, every one comes with a side effect. And the side effect, in my opinion, is simply the body's inner intelligence telling us that that's not in harmony with its needs. 
Disease is simply a body out of balance, and we need to restore the balance, and drugs can't do that. Doctors can't heal, bless your heart, but you know that anyways. Drugs can't heal. They can only mask symptoms, and all the products, as beneficial as they are, they can't heal either. Only the body retains that privilege, but in order for it to function in a diseased world, polluted world, it needs to have the proper assistance. Proper assistance and the proper attitude of taking charge. Always tell people that when you go to the doctor, it's not the doctor who is in charge of your body, of your health. You are in charge of your body and your health. Doctor is only a consultant. Kudos to you. That's right. I advocate that to all the people that come to me. They say, well, how do I tell my doctor? I said, well, first off, understand that your doctor is just part of your team to help you get better and you're best to consult with him and let him know what you're going to do you don't have to ask his permission you have to do your own due diligence and work out a path that you want to take that makes some sense and then follow that regime religiously with your doctor there he can be there to to monitor your progress as you go on this path to wellness Doctor, we were talking earlier in the first segment, uh, Doug and I, about, you know, mood and how, you know, the, the digestive system, especially the colon and the intestine, really act as almost a second brain within our system. And you talk about mindsets right up front about being one of your pillars of health. If we do not, you know, deal with the, the issues of our digestive tract, when you add this factor that it can influence mood if we don't keep this part of our body clean and working at optimal level, we are seriously living in a vicious cycle, are we not? We absolutely are. I 100% agree with you. I'm such a proponent of the God-brain axis. You know, our brain thrives upon our GI tract health because, let me tell you, that our microgod or the probiotics that we uh, produce or they populate basically our entire GI tube they produce over 70% of serotonin. This mm. is our happy neurotransmitter. There's no question that, that the gut plays such a, a critical role in our overall uh, wellness. Absolutely, absolutely. We need to realize now, you know, the leaky gut syndrome is, uh, you know, one of the uh, very hot topics because the toxins leak into the bloodstream again into the cells and the toxins which um, reduce the, our microgod, our probiota is going to induce the harmful bacteria. The, our, not only that our microgod is so critically important for the brain health, it's also important for our immune system. But again, happy God, happy brain. I'm happy God, I'm happy brain. I would dare you to show me every depressed person or somebody with depression, and I will tell you that that person has a microgut deficiency. Well, and probably a compromised adrenal system, too. Absolutely. Because your adrenals, of course, they monitor control the chemistry in your body. This is that the <laughs> cellular and the body synergy. All those organs, they work in synergy in that togetherness. Absolutely. Healthy adrenals are going to stimulate healthy thyroid. Healthy thyroid is going to work together with the gut, with our uh, genital urinal system. You know, this is such an incredible organ synergy. That's why we as allopathic doctors, we fail because we take care of symptoms. We don't take care of the whole body. We need to be holistic physicians. It means like whole body physicians. Without a doubt. Listen, Dr. Silverman, it has been an absolute pleasure. My God, the time has literally flown speaking with you. I know. I hope you could come back on again. Before you Absolutely. go, though. I will be delighted. Please invite me. Uh, you, you, you're a standing <laughs> invite, really, my word. You've been just absolutely tremendous. But for before we go, how do people reach you if they want to uh, consult with you? Uh, well, they can reach me via email. Uh, you can provide it. It's my first name, lowercase theta, at ualberta.ca. Okay. And I also have a website. It is called www.askdrsilverman.com. Askdrsilverman.com. And I will provide you all the links to reach out to me. 
Wonderful. It has been an absolute pleasure having you. Folks, you are listening to the Zenith Health Show brought to you by Great the fine Venus, people Santa. of Zenith Global Health. Thank you, Doc. Much love and hugs to you guys. Take care. Check out the website at zenithglobalhealth.com slash information or give them a call at 702-540-5668. The consultation is always free. We're back by Nature's Pharmacy. Come right back here on KXNT News Talk Radio. More with Doug and your calls. Optimum Detox is simply nature's answer to a toxic world. It actively helps the body by eliminating toxins and accumulated waste while at the same time providing all the essential nutrients to maintain optimum wellness. Optimum Detox is one of only two Western-based whole food supplements that have ever been clinically tested and approved by the Federal Ministry of Health in China for degenerative and chronic conditions. Call now, 702-540-5668. Eliminate deadly toxins today. It's been one year. Very confident in our country's future. I am terrified. You have never seen anything like it. President Trump's State of the Union. Presenting to you the president's... Coverage starts Tuesday night at 6 on News Talk 840 AM. KXNT. Hey, folks, welcome back. You're listening to the Zenith Cell Show here on KXNT News Talk Radio 840 Las Vegas. My name is Anthony, and I am here with my daytime friend here. <laughs> Every Sunday, Mr. Doug Winifield, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed here on a Sunday morning. You know, Doug, it's always a pleasure when we get a chance to speak with uh, a fabulous doctor. And let's face it, Dr. Silverman is one of those people. She is also a fellow of the Royal College of Physicians in Canada. She is a distinct guest, but one of the things that I am struck with when I talk to her every time is just how much she embraces the holistic view of medicine. Having been a pathologist on the front line of looking at what disease does on a cellular level, I do not think we should take that uh, for granted or underestimate that impact. She is distinguished. And she is a person of science, but looks beyond science. I well, find that interesting. Well, you know, one of the interesting things that she brought up, and uh, when we had uh, we we had a, a great meeting, and we've had a number of meetings on 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 uh, video conferencing and that, but this was a personal meeting. We met in Palm Springs and spent some time together. And that she indicated to me, we the subject of cancer come up. So we got talking about cancer. She was very uh, adamant that. If she was ever to acquire cancer, the last people she'd be going to would be oncologists. She wouldn't be taking uh, radiation or chemotherapy, that those were just not uh, on the table for her. And coming from uh, a mainstream, conventional, somebody that's got that that type of training is unique. Although the, you're finding more and more of it now, uh, the mavericks that are stepping out. And I don't ever mean to put down... Uh, allopathic medicine or conventional because there's a need for it there's a lot of things what they've made huge strides in helping some of the surgical procedures that they do now are amazing and certainly if you're dealing with acute conditions and trauma and things of that nature and you know and diagnostics another area well it's not a doubt it does sometimes come off like and and we don't want to do that to say look something wrong with the medical profession entirely because there's some great doctors out there doing some wonderful things even in the realm of chronic disease let's be honest we've run into those people along the way the issue is we don't want to be projected or perceived to be putting down one in favor of the other what we're saying is we need to reimagine or maybe re-engineer the way we look at the human body. And there are doctors out there, much like Dr. Silverman, and we've run into them, some of them have been on this show, who are embracing this oh, very concept. Oh, we've got lots of them. I know we've got so many that are aligned with us. I guess the difference is this, is that due to the training that they have so often mm-hmm. that they're using drugs now, well, the drugs... They can only mask a symptom, that they can never get to the root cause. And so when it comes to degenerative and chronic conditions, conventional medicine really plays no role at all. They take a group of symptoms and they stick a label on it. They call Mm -hmm. it cancer. They call it MS. And and so often it's a misdiagnosis at best or at worst. And then they turn around and they come up with drugs that will mask the symptoms of those diseases. So they never get to the root cause. Doctors can set a broken bone but they can't tell you how a tear is shed. And, and, and I often talk about uh, years back when a group of scientists got together with the concept of creating seawater. Mm-hmm. And I've told this story before, but it, to me it just kind of puts everything in a proper package. They made the seawater, they cloned it so perfectly that the most powerful instruments and microscopes could discern no difference between the man-made synthetic seawater and real seawater. It was identical. 
scientifically it was the same until they introduced fish to the equation where the fish instantly died because there's things in nature that the master doesn't reveal. God gave us a perfect piece of equipment that's amazing. It's just magical. And with that, he gave us the promise of everything in nature to support it in health and wellness, vitality, energy comes in our fruits, our vegetables, and our herbs. And because there's a way that nature synergistically blends all the components so that they're in total harmony with our body's needs. Folks, well, simply put, as Doug was just alluding to there, that you have everything inside your body to heal itself. We simply need to give it the tools to start that process to take advantage of those internal mechanisms that we have. We're going to give you the most important tool of all, which is the adaptogen that we talked about, which is Optimum Detox. There's an offer. Go to the zenithstore.com slash offer. You get your first 30 days free. All you do is pay for the shipping and handling. That's $5. You get yourself started right there for the first 30 days. And from then on out, it is, what, less than a a daily frappuccino or your morning cappuccino from Starbucks. That's all you need, folks, to start detoxifying and restoring the vital nutrients that your body needs to get you on the way to wellness. It is not a magic pill. It is a process, and that's what we're talking about. Wellness is a process. There are no magic pills, right, Doug? That's right. That's right. Pills can simply mask symptoms. Anything that's in a pill form is not going to be good for you. I can tell you right now. The concept of adaptogens, and I was so happy to talk to Dr. Silverman about that because she comes from a part of the world where adaptogens are regarded as real science. They're supplements that can restore and give us the host resistance that we need. Yeah, one of my uh, colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Uh, Wiltshire, we got to get him on the show, yeah. uh, but he wrote a book called The... Uh, the universal laws, Un- of- universal laws of healing, the right. difference between uh, healers and pretenders. But he gets into depth into all the different modalities, cultural modalities that have been used over the years successfully. And a lot of them come out of Europe and that, too. So there's a huge history of natural medicine going back that were proven to work for thousands of years. Some people would call it quackery, as Dr. Silverman put out, and some of them would put it as acquired knowledge that was assembled by people who came long before us. Folks, that is Doug Whittefield, and once again, this has been the Zenith Health Show, brought to you by the fine people at Zenith Global Health, where the consultation is always free, and we're back by Nature's Pharmacy. Follow us on Facebook at Zenith HQ, or check us out on Twitter on Zenith Global for all the updates and more. Remember, the greatest gift you can give your friends your loved ones is the lessons we share about our health so send your friends and share the message and be well talk to you soon please be advised that statements made during this show have not been evaluated by the food and drug administration the information provided herein is for educational purposes only and is not intended to diagnose nor treat any illness nor does it suggest or imply a cure for any disease or chronic condition in fact, you should always consult a physician and or healthcare professional before starting this or any nutritional program to determine if it is right for your needs.